Inhaling helium can provide a moment of amusement due to the temporary high-pitched alteration it makes to one's voice. This phenomenon occurs as sound travels faster through helium than through air. However, it's paramount to understand the potentially grave risks involved with inhaling helium, particularly the risk of asphyxiation, which can lead to serious harm or even fatal consequences. When helium is inhaled from a balloon, the lightheartedness and laughter might mask the actual danger lurking beneath the surface. Helium is a colorless, odorless, and tasteless inert gas, and when it fills the lungs, it displaces the oxygen that our bodies need to function properly. When we inhale air, we are primarily breathing in oxygen and nitrogen, with oxygen being vital for our cells to produce energy. In the absence of sufficient oxygen, the body enters a state known as hypoxia, where oxygen levels in the tissues are extremely low. This can lead to symptoms such as dizziness, headache, confusion, and shortness of breath. Prolonged exposure to low oxygen levels can lead to loss of consciousness and eventually, if not rectified, to the shutting down of vital organs and death due to asphyxiation. It's vital to understand that our brain is particularly sensitive to changes in oxygen levels. Even a few minutes of oxygen deprivation can cause irreversible damage to the brain cells. When an individual inhales helium, the oxygen in the lungs is rapidly displaced, reducing the oxygen supply to the brain and other vital organs. Now, consider the swift action of helium when it is inhaled directly from a pressurized container. This poses an even more immediate threat. The gas is forced rapidly into the lungs, expanding them quickly and posing a risk of causing a lung rupture, a life-threatening condition. Even if the lungs manage to cope with the rapid expansion, the quick displacement of oxygen still brings about the risk of asphyxiation, making the direct inhalation of helium extremely perilous. Moreover, the entertainment industry often uses helium in its liquefied form due to its ability to cool to incredibly low temperatures. If someone were to inhale helium in its liquid form, it could cause severe, instantaneous frostbite to the respiratory tract, including the lungs, leading to serious injury. Safety should always be paramount when dealing with gases, even those perceived as harmless, like helium. It's important to consider the immediate surroundings and available medical aid when dealing with substances that could rapidly change our body's normal functioning. The majority of helium-related accidents are due to a lack of awareness about the potential hazards of helium inhalation. Thus, education and awareness play a crucial role in preventing helium-induced accidents. A responsible approach to using helium for recreational or professional purposes is essential to avoid the grave consequences associated with its misuse. It's crucial to foster an understanding and respect for the substances we interact with in our daily lives. Though helium is widely known for its lighter-than-air property, causing balloons to float and altering the pitch of our voices, its potential to cause harm should never be underestimated. By staying informed about the properties and potential dangers of helium, we can ensure safer practices and prevent the devastating consequences that can result from its inappropriate use. In conclusion, while the temporary alteration of voice pitch due to helium inhalation might seem amusing, the potential risks involved are severe. The lack of oxygen that occurs during helium inhalation can lead to hypoxia, which can cause irreversible damage to the brain and other organs, leading to serious harm or even fatal consequences. Therefore, it's paramount to approach helium with caution and awareness, prioritizing safety above temporary amusement. By doing so, we can enjoy the lighter aspects of life without compromising our well-being.